And uh, so when you think about Nextiva, I want you to think about voice over IP. And uh, the question is, is this uh, the best uh, VoIP service around? Let's have a conversation about that. So here's a presentation I want you to really uh, look into. So when you think about Nextiva, I want you to think about a very well-known voice over internet protocol VoIP service that provides unlimited calling throughout the United States and Canada. And it, it really also offers a business numbers and faxing at no additional cost. So when you think about Nextiva, think about business, but also a personal use. And Nextiva's services uh, include team collaboration tools, such as one-on-one -on -one messaging and multiple group chat rooms. So the flexibility is there, the scalability is there, and also uh, the diversity, the efficiency is there as well. And uh, so when you think about Nextiva, think about uh, unlimited calling throughout the U.S. and Canada, free online faxing, something that the Google Voice, for instance, doesn't do. They don't do faxing. But Nextiva does. You have a toll-free number. You have video calls uh, up to 45 minutes, video conference uh, recording, voicemail to email notifications. You have Microsoft and Google contact integrations, migration for existing phone numbers with no added cost. So this is really cool. And Nextiva, and even better, Nextiva is available in a downloadable desktop application called Nextiva One and in a mobile app compatible with iOS and Android. So when texting, uh, when, when evaluating Nextiva, we could also uh, download the desktop and mobile app versions with no problem. And so in addition to communication software, Nextiva also offers uh, business phones, headsets, and other equipment. And uh, so there, when it comes to uh, those tangible, tangible products, you are looking at pricing that goes from uh, 70 bucks all the way to uh, $800 a month. It really depends on uh, the kind of equipment you need. But long story short, when you think about Nextiva, think about flexibility, think about the efficiency, and think about voice over IP at a very high level, okay? And they focus on two business-centric purposes, providing companies with a professional phone number and a system uh, and, and a method of cross-company collaboration, okay? And uh, you can also get Nestiva as, a, as an indiv individual customer, but it will be a little more expensive for you there. But hey, listen, if you're a solopreneur, if, you're an, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a freelancer, you need that kind of services, you can try Nextiva, not a problem. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let's evaluate uh, Nextiva. Okay, I want to look at the pros and cons and really see what really sets uh, Nextiva apart from all the other players in the industry. So let's first start with uh, the uh, advantages of having a service such as Nextiva. So you have unlimited calling within the United States and Canada. Now, this could be a little problematic if you have, uh, let's say, a business uh, activities in, in Asia and in Africa in uh, other parts of the world. But hey, listen, if your geography of interest is only uh, the U.S. and Canada, you will love the, this Nextiva offer. Okay, You have a free local and toll-free number. You have unlimited video calls, at least 1,500 toll-free minutes per month. That's really cool in terms of, uh, and those 1,500 uh, toll-free minutes can be allocated across different teams. So if you have different teams, you, this is totally fine. So the 1,500 toll-free minutes are across, uh, they, they actually apply to the whole company, to, to one account. So if you have one account, but you have a 1,500, uh, I mean, 1,500 minutes, that's fine. But if you have uh, 3,000, then you will need to uh, either pay extra or increase your pricing tier. You have unlimited internet faxing and you have a voice over IP hardware available for sale or lease. This is totally great. What about the cons here? Live customer support could be better. I mean, this is something that they are working on. Nextiva, the Nextiva can do a lot better right now. The quality of service is not where it should be at, okay? And service is potentially less small uh, business friendly than competitors. So if you are a micro business, if you are a solopreneur, you might have a little, a little bit of a hard time when dealing with Nextiva customer service. But long story short, when you close your eyes and think about what sets Nextiva apart from all the other players in the industry, Nextiva has a great range of communication and collaboration tools that could effectively allow it to operate as a business uh, central hub. And uh, Nextiva provides video and audio conferencing, multiple rooms for video meetings, and easy one-on-one -on -one messaging from team, for team members. You can easily uh, access a calendar, file attachments and integrations, and quickly share relevant information with employees or peers. So this is kind of cool in terms of fostering a cross-collaborative cross environment. And so this is really good. And we also love the fact that 
Nexiva's features uh, are demonstrating quality. They do have capabilities uh, when it comes to replacing certain apps such as Slack, Zoom, and Google Calendar for business. So that's really good. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Nextiva. The question is, is this uh, voice over IP tool really worth it? Yes or no? Talking about being worth it, I mean, let's talk about affordability, pricing, if you will. I want you to pay attention to what's happening right now on the screen, on your screen. So you can see that the Nextiva has a trifecta of, uh, of a pricing tiers. So you, you have the essential, the professional, and the enterprise, right? So you're looking at uh, a delta from uh, a delta go that goes from eighteen dollars to thirty-two dollars. That's a delta of fourteen bucks. This is pretty interesting, okay? Now Nextiva, on the surface, is more expensive than Google Voice, for instance, or Ring Central, among other things. But uh, let's dig a little deeper to see what really happens here. So if you go with the essential you actually have a, a sort of stratified layered pricing tier. So one to four users, five to nine users, 20 to 99 users, and one more than 100 users, the price is different. So the 1895 that you see right now on the screen for Essential really goes up or down depending upon, uh, depending upon the number of users you have. The same applies for professional and enterprise. So the, the question is what really uh, differentiates those three tiers? It really depends. Uh, you got to have, you got to think about a contract length. So when you go with Nextiva, you have to sign a contract length and the contract length can go from one for from uh, one month to three years. So, so from one to 36 months. Okay. And this is applicable to all three tiers. So you got to have a contract and uh, you have unlimited domestic calling. Y yes. US and Canada. You have unlimited domestic texting. No for the essential. Yes. For professional enterprise and uh, you international calling varies depending upon the, the pricing tier. And also the country video conferencing is a, is available on all three tiers call monitoring is not available on essential and professional but but available on enterprise and uh but toll free numbers are available on all three pricing tiers so, and so is a voice mail to email and also efax and you have third party integrations that are available for professional and uh, enterprise but kind of limited for essentials and but you do have customer support so long story short when you think about nextiva standard tier the essential plan that's a plan that actually provides a fully functional professional phone system. You can really tailor to employee availability. And this is kind of cool. And you can set it up to work 24 seven or with a standard Monday through Friday schedule. And you can adjust the hours of availability, not a problem. And this plan includes uh, actually unlimited domestic calls throughout the US and Canada, but you must upgrade to the professional tier for SMS. I think I said this to you before. So the most limiting aspect of the essential level, it's really the integration. So uh, customers at this tier could import contacts from Google and Microsoft, but no noteworthy integration access exists. So this is this could be a bummer, really, when you think about it. But long story short, this is kind of interesting. So, I mean, I, what I want to say is that when we talk about uh, the uh, essential, you also have the professional. The professional plan is the best starting point for Nextiva subscribers, especially those who uh, honestly want the all-in-one experience that Nextiva strives to provide. Not only do you have the phone and video capabilities of the essential plan, but this tier includes mobile SMS and MMS and advanced integration access to popular apps such as HubSpot, Salesforce, Sugar, CRM, Zendesk, Microsoft Dynamic 365, and more. So this is kind of cool. And uh, you also have enterprise. So Nextiva enterprise plan is better suited to teams needing support for at least uh, a few hundred people. At this level, you not only get the unlimited conference calls, but there is a, no limits to the number of participants you can host. So this is kind of cool. Fantastic. Let's talk about the features here. So when we think about Nextiva, what kind of features can you imagine here? First of all, we love the fact that the ease of use is really great. I mean, Nextiva is relatively easy to set up and use Nothing complicated. You don't need to actually have a technician or have your team go through a steep learning curve. Things happen a lot faster. So once you have your account, you can quickly download the software to, the, to a desktop and a smartphone. Not a problem. You can add. You can easily add users, make customizations, or place calls. And uh, so that's really important. So if you are new to Voice over IP, there might be a slight learning curve. That's for sure. But still, Nextiva provides resources on its website for managing standard features such as setting up users, voicemail, and more. So that's really cool. 
Now, what about hardware? Now, Nextiva provides businesses with uh, voice over IP compatible hardware for sale or lease. It really offers a product from recognized brands, including Yeah, Link, Cisco, and Poly. Nextiva also has its own hardware brand, brand available to purchase. Now, whether you buy or lease for them, it really depends on your operational activity. I mean, it really depends, right? Do you need a, do you need a, the hardware for something uh, punctual, let's say a project or something more permanent? So you got to really you got to have a clear idea about what you need for it. Now in terms of qual call quality, you will be really placed, you will be pleasantly placed. So Nextiva has a, a great call quality. The call quality is uh, what was great when we tested it. We had clear video and audio when testing meeting features. There were no delays or problems with lagging in the mobile app, enabling the acoustic echo cancellation option further boosted audio quality by eliminating echoes especially when testing Nextiva enabled devices near each other. In terms of uptime, uptime references the amount of time a cloud-based app is up and running. Downtime is measured across days, weeks, months, or annually. And ultimately, the goal is to commit to uh, an acceptable uptime standard while reducing anticipated downtime by as much as possible. So Nextiva actually strives for 99.99% of uptime, which is really achieves through having eight points of reference globally so that if one location goes down, another is available to maintain the connection. And uh, Nextiva also employs the data centers. It, it really describes a career grade, meaning that the brand relies on telecommunication industry leaders, including AT&T, Comcast, and more to power its core network. Okay, something to really to be aware of. So you have uh, third party integrations are great in Nextiva. You have security. Fantastic. Not a problem. And uh, there are actually uh, customer support is also available. And uh, so they do provide 24 seven support regardless of customer subscription level. So getting us, you can get assistance by submitting a support ticket, opening a chat window or call it 1-800-285-7995. Fantastic. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about Nextiva. Is, is this next, uh, this voice over IP uh, service really worth it? Let's talk about uh, the rivals here. So I want to talk to you about uh, Magic Jack. I want to talk to you about Ring Central. I want to talk to, to you about Dialpad. And so when we let's compare and contrast real quick Nextiva to uh, Magic Jack for Business. Though Nextiva's business, uh, Nextiva's service starts nearly as low as Magic Jack for Business. Magic Jack's uh, $15.99 per month price is a flat fee. So that's really cool. And uh, the, the thing is that uh, it doesn't increase or decrease according to the number of users. Still, Nextiva may be worth the investment as it, because it, it really provides more than voice over IP phone services. You also receive video conferencing tools, tech team messaging features, and a calendar. And this is kind of cool. So customers of Magic Jack can buy a voice over, a voice over IP phone for as low as $49.99. There are several phone options, though all are from Yeah Link. And uh, Nextiva has a much more comprehensive range of hardware choices available from uh, multiple brands. And Nextiva also allows businesses to lease phones instead of buying them outright. That's what I said a little earlier. So we think Magic Jack for Business is a, it's a really excellent choice for tiny businesses on a tight budget just beginning to use and understand voice over IP services. Small to medium sized businesses that prefer to pair VoIP phone hardware and uh, software with video conferencing and app integrations should instead sign up with Nextiva. Let's talk about Nextiva versus Ring Central. So Nextiva actually offers a, a potentially lower per month per user start cost. However, you need at least 100 users to see the discounts. So Ring Central is the more affordable option for a smaller team. So if you're listening to me right now and you are you have a smaller team, go with the Ring Central. And Ring Central is a plan that included unlimited domestic calling and taxing features. Nextiva requires an upgrade for a business SMS. And Ring Central and Nextiva each provide high quality video and audio conferencing tools and team messaging features, but Nextiva limits meeting times to 45 minutes. Ring Central's meeting can run for, for hours with hosts able to uh, record the sessions and store them in the cloud for up to one year. So this is kind of cool. What about the dial pad? Now, Dialpad starting cost is slightly lower than Nextiva, and it's really good to know. And uh, basically, uh, though Nextiva pricing plans are all public, 
With Alipad, you must contact the sales team to determine enterprise level pricing and Nextiva provides a demo of its services, while Dialpad offers a free 14-day trial during which you can use calling and texting features at no cost. So unlike Nextiva, Dialpad not only includes a free business number, but by upgrading to its pro plan, you get you also have an additional local or international number. So with Dialpad, you have more flexibility in our view. Dialpad is uh, Dialpad's standard service includes domestic texting though you must switch to Pro for international texting support. Dialpad also lets you host meetings for up to five hours. The Nextiva meetings can be can host unlimited participants. Dialpad meeting, meetings actually host a maximum of 10 people. So when you, when you an analyze things here, Dialpad is the more small business friendly option, not just in terms of uh, pricing, but also due to the number of, and types of features available at the standard level, including many useful analytical tools. And uh, so when we think about Nextiva, I, I just want you to think about the fact that Nextiva really uh, is great in terms of uh, availability, that's for sure. And uh, you also have the fact that Nextiva is also uh, like, you are going to have a lot of uh, stuff uh, when you go with like, Nextiva. Now, there are a few things that people have have complained about on the internet. You have post up, upgrade, uh, I mean, post update glitches, difficulty canceling services, and uh, you have a positive customer support experience in some cases. So it's one of those things where you have to really uh, do your math and you can ask us in the in the comment section before choosing Nextiva, let us know your geography, your needs, and we'll let you know whether or not Nextiva is the best for you. So what is our opinion? Is Nextiva actually a great tool or what? Yes, Nextiva is definitely great for, for, it's great for a lot of things. We think Nextiva is best for unlimited domestic calling. So customers can send and receive unlimited calls in the US and Canada. Nextiva is great for getting a free business number. So Nextiva provides a free local or toll-free number. You have unlimited video calls, so you can have as, ma as many video calls as you want. Nextiva is great for unlimited internet faxing, so you can send e-faxes at no additional cost. And Nextiva is great for a straightforward call flow setup, so you can easily determine how calls are directed and to whom. We do not recommend Nextiva for a few things. So we do not recommend Nextiva for a very small business team. So it doesn't seem geared, geared toward uh, tiny companies. We do not recommend Nextiva for integrations without upgrades. So you must upgrade to the professional plan to access most integrations. And we do not recommend Nextiva for meetings longer than 45 minutes. So basically Nextiva is limiting, basically right now they, they limit sessions to less than an hour while multiple communication brands allow video meetings to run much longer. So it's one of those things where you got to really ask yourself, what do you need and what are you, uh, what are your operational, uh, let's say initiatives right now? Because Nextiva, long story short, is a VARP company that enables businesses of all sizes to set up phone systems for inbound and outbound calls. I want to, I want to insist on that inbound and outbound calls. It also offers a team collaboration tools for video conferencing, messaging, and event planning. So think deep. I mean, is the tool safe? Definitely. Nextiva is safe. Not a problem, okay. And but uh, the difficulty canceling service is a it's a bummer for us. It's a big concern for us because first of all, Nextiva wants you to be with them for one month or three years, and if you want to get out of the contract, they start playing games with you. So it's just one of those things you want to ask yourself whether or not you want to really go in that contract. I mean, the service is great, but if they're playing games when it comes to canceling the service, that's not good at all. So be very careful. Ask all questions before you sign up, and uh, you should be good to go. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Let's do a quick recap here. In today's conversation, I spoke to you about Nextiva. I gave you the presentation, the evaluation, the pricing, the features. I spoke about the rivals, our opinion, and now the recap. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.